In this clip, I'll show you how to make a spider out of paper. For this clip, you will need some black card, a stapler, a sticky stick, some black tissue paper, some bright colored paper, chalk, scissors, a pen, and some wool. First, you get a piece of card and your chalk, which will show up on the black card, and just draw a shape. Add in a circle, that's going to be the spider's body and head. Cut round it. It doesn't matter about really exact cutting for this one. That's going to be the spider's body. But for his eyes, which we want to stick up, I'm going to do a chop and a stop, a chop and a stop, chop and a stop, chop and a stop. And those will lift up. That's where we're going to stick his eyes onto. And these bits can be his mouth sticking out. So if you want to cut some zigzags, make it look like fierce teeth, you can zigzag that bit. Now the body, we want it to build up a little bit thicker than that. He looks a bit too flat like that. So get some pieces of black tissue and crumple them up, wobble them in your hand a little bit. That'll crumple them and get those ready to stick all over the body. Crumpled lumps. If you do it with your hands a few times, it should fix down quite quickly. We'll get those stuck in a moment, but first let's get the legs ready. Have you remembered how many legs we want? I think it's eight. So, all you need to do is chop to the very end. It's not a chop and stop, it's a chop right off the end. One, two, three, four. Some can be fat legs, some can be thin legs. He's got so many, you can choose which ones to run on. And that's the last one. Now, when you've got the legs, what you need to do is some zigzag folding. Down and back, down and back, down and back, down and back. Zigzag them all the way along so they come out like that. Wonderful legs, bendy and wobbly. So you fold down and you fold back, you fold down and you fold back, you fold down and you fold back. A zig and a zag and a zig and a zag. That's going to be eight legs you have to get ready like that. And all these pieces now will better start fixing them together. Hold the leg onto the head. It's a head and a body, isn't it, if it's a spider? One at that side and one to match at that side. Keep sticking, that's one, two, three, four on already. Here comes legs number five. Do you think they'll all fit right round? It's going to be a squash, isn't it? You've got to get your stapler on so that it holds the leg down in the right place. And six and seven. I haven't even zigzagged these yet, but that doesn't matter, you can zigzag it when you've got them on. There we go. Now, Stevie Spider, you'll be ready to hang down and scare somebody if you hang him in the doorway. Right, these bobbly bits go on the top. Get plenty of sticky and put some dots of sticky on there and then press the lumpy bits onto the dots. One, two. So that builds up his body and makes it look a little bit fatter and lumpier. A little bit more interesting than just a flat body. You can do as many bits as you like of that, but remember to get them glued. That's it. Now some eyes. For eyes, I like to do semicircles. So I'm going to cut two at the same time. I folded that up. There's the fold. So on the fold, I'm going up the hill and down the hill, or like a curly cut. And then just cut through the fold. Each eye needs a centre to it. So that's why I need my pen. So just leave one little bit. So that makes the shiny bit on the eye. Round and round and round, leaving a little bit. And those can glue on those flaps we made at the front. Do you remember those? We started with those, didn't we? Little bit of glue on the flaps. Stick the eyes on. One, two. There's his scary mouth with the teeth. So the only thing we've got to do now is fix some string so that he can dangle down. Hold the string to the middle and get your stapler in there and do it. And then hold it very gently up, making sure the bits don't come off because they're still a bit unstuck. Here we go. And that's how to make a scary spider out of paper.